Hello, everyone, and welcome to the big show. This is Investing in Trading Live, sponsored by Online Trading Academy. If you're a first-time listener, thanks for stopping by. My name is Josh Lilquist, and we are happy to have you with us today. As always, I do have my good friend, my good pal, and today he is the stock master, Mr. Al Connickson, on the show here today. Al, how are you doing today? You know what? I'm feeling really good, uh, Josh. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. It's a nice, nice week here in the stock market, a nice, beautiful week, we'll call it, depending on if you like snow, if you don't like snow, if you like sun, if you don't like sun. Well, it's always going to be sunny, and it's always going to be cloudy, so yes, it's always a great day. And that is the same thing now with the people stock are market. Totally confused. Well, that's because that, that's what I that was my intent there, Al. Is because good job. Good people job. are confused yeah. about the stock market. There's oh, things are looking great, things are looking yep. bad, and there's a lot of emotion, fear, and greed putting them in the market from the institutions on TV, on the interweb, where everybody is getting their information and everybody believes what's on TV. Everybody believes what's online. Well, today we're gonna unpack that a little bit. We're going to bring pull back the curtain on how the markets actually work. And our sponsor, Online Trading Academy, uh, of the show, uh, on their 26th year here, trading, teaching people how to trade and invest with the markets. We pull back the curtain on how they work and how to make smart investing decisions moving forward um, and uh, teaching different techniques and strategies on stocks, options, futures, forex, cryptocurrency, whatever that soup de jour of the day is. That's what Online Trading Academy does, and we're going to discuss that a little bit. We're going to give away some seats to our free investing class coming up here a little bit later. But as I mentioned, a lot of people are confused about the stock market. Yep. There's been a lot of great moves in the markets. We have the S&P 500 really showing a lot of strength the past week or two here, but it is getting to that same supply zone that it dropped from back on Monday, around Monday, Tuesday, the right. the 6th of February. Mm -hmm. So we're seeing some areas where we might see some uh, some weakness coming in. Who knows? Make sure you have your risk management, management parameters intact there. Uh, we've seen a surge in oil this past week, a less supply. They're cutting the supply of oil. Um, the dollar has, is getting down to the lows of 2023. That's getting down there. So we're seeing some good moves there. But gold and silver continuing to show strength there right. and that's you know getting close to the highs back from august of 2020 so there's a lot of ups a lot of downs a lot of confusion in the market but all that does it spells opportunity yes it doesn't look like it spells opportunity on a piece of paper but in in, in the words of trading and investing there's always opportunity whether the market's going up or if it's going down yeah. Al, we've seen a lot of uh, some news come out this past week a lot of turmoil a lot of things globally going on. What's your take on this market? Well, I, I'm going to say this. Now is the time to be ready so you don't have to get ready. And 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 you're right, exactly right, Josh. There are all sorts of news out there. You know, we went through a period of time there where good news in the economy was bad news for the stock market. Uh, bad news in the economy was good news for the stock market. And basically that was all based on what the Fed was going to do. Were they going to continue raising rates? Were they going to lower rates? Now we've got to the point now where bad news is bad news, and and people are just looking at as you know a recession as being uh, something that we we can pretty much count on. But I think one of the concerns, Josh, you know, the, as long as the market's open, there's always going to be opportunities. There will be always something that outperforms, uh, but it means having the education to. To, to again, like I said, be ready so you don't have to get ready. You don't have to learn because these opportunities come very quickly. But here's one of the things that I think people need to really be aware of. Um, one of the reasons that we live the lifestyle we live is because the U.S. dollar has been the world's reserve currency. Yep. And now things are changing. We know and we've known for some time that China, Russia would like to change that, especially China. And it's, it's changing. Right now we're seeing that France and China have agreed to pay for uh, liquid national gas in the one. Brazil and China have agreed to settle trade in one in reals. That's the, the Brazilian currency. Russia and India are going to settle trade in rupees. Uh, Saudi Arabia, which uh, has always used the dollar, pegged their, uh, the uh, oil to the dollar, they're now looking at dealing with China and, and Russia. So we've got an issue there that is going to change things. I think that, you know, we often say, when people say things are different this time, we always say they really aren't different. But, you know, maybe they really are this time. There are things that are happening that are going to require 
knowledge uh, to be able to take advantage of things that people just haven't been exposed to before. Yep. That's what we do. We we provide that kind of knowledge, and the you know I think that what we know over time is that what what we found is similarities between successful traders. You go back over uh, you know the last hundred years and, and look at the traders that have been successful and they all have similar traits and those uh, happen to be traits that we kind of teach and, and uh, use in our education at the online trading academy one of them is being patient being patient to wait for the right scenario the right setup what is the right setup what's the right scenario because that's that's what you have to identify if you're going to be a successful trader What's the, when's the right time to get into something? When's the right time to get out of it? Because not only is it getting into a particular position that's important, but you have to know when to get out of it if you're wrong, and you have to know when to get out of it if you're right. That means being a little more active. What has worked for a lot of people uh, over the last number of years up until 2022 has been more of that kind of long-term buy and hold mm-hmm. strategy. Mm-hmm. That's not working now, and it's not going to work. If you want to have an opportunity to maybe beat the indexes, you're going to have to be more selective. You're going to have to have a strategy that helps you identify the right entry price for the right asset, the right strategy to use. This is the time that you need education that you're not getting anywhere else. That's what we provide and I know you're going to be talking about a class that, that people can take advantage of now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, things going on in the markets, Al. And that's the that's the key is having the right education. And there, But there's a thing you talked about there of knowledge. You know, we provide the knowledge. But we also provide that transfer from the knowledge to the skill to actually Correct. be able to do it. Because you can get knowledge anywhere. Sure. But knowledge will not help you in the financial markets. The skill to actually do it will, just like sports or just like anything you do in your career. There, you know, Most people that are listening right now work probably during the day. Sure. And uh, th- that's a skill they've built for whatever that they do. So that's the difference between knowledge and skill. And that's why we are able to transfer that into knowledge to skill to make smart investing decisions. So, you know, I want to talk about those uh, those traits of success coming up in the next segment. So stay tuned for that. But I, as you mentioned, I do have some seats for a free investing class that we have. We've been having a lot of people come to Al um, here at the Academy. As a matter of fact, you were teaching one this week and a lot of great people came in yeah, and, and good, they're a little afraid. Class. You know, you mentioned they were afraid of what's happening in the markets. But you know what? Don't be afraid. Come in and learn about it. Learn about that knowledge and then be able to transfer that into skill to make smart investing decisions so that you that way you don't have to be afraid. You have more comfort and confidence getting into the financial markets and hopefully making smart decisions moving forward. So if you want to call in or for this uh, free investing class, I'm actually going to give a text line. So get your phone ready. Text the word investing to the number 210-210 for two seats for this class. Text investing to the number 210-210 for two seats for this free investing class locally right here in Bloomington. So coming up next, we're going to talk about those trading and investing uh, similarities uh, or traits, I should say, to make smart investing decisions coming up next. This is Josh and Al. We'll be right back.